MicroSurvey CAD 2018 is powered by the new IntelliCAD 8.4. It includes support for opening AutoCAD 2018 format DWG drawing files, and it includes many new commands, bug fixes, and other improvements. The drawing tabs make it easier to switch between your open drawings, and also gives a clear indication of which drawing file you're working in. You can drag and drop the tabs to split your view if you want to see two drawings side by side at the same time. Up top we've got new pull downs for your workspace settings and for the layer settings. If we go through the new commands, start with the draw tab and run the boundary hatch. Drawing hatch patterns is easier than before with the redesigned boundary hatch dialog that combines all of your settings onto the single screen you see here. It's easier to use with everything together in one view and it includes some new options like setting the draw order and layer for your hatch pattern. The boundary hatch command can also now be used to draw gradient hatch patterns which will draw a solid fill that blends your colors in various gradient patterns. Let's go back to the edit tab, take a look at the array command. The array command has been improved with the dialog to set the row and column parameters rather than specifying them at your command line. The annotate tab has a new group of uh, multi-leader commands. Multi-leaders are new to IntelliCAD, but will be familiar to some other CAD users. They can be used like a standard leader, but with some new capabilities. Mainly, you can add multi-leaders to a multi-leader object, letting it point to multiple things in your drawing. We can remove multi-leaders, you can edit the styles of your multi-leaders, you can align multi-leaders to make multiple multi-leaders line up nicely in your drawing. And if your multi-leaders are annotated with blocks instead of text, multiple multi-leaders can be collected together into a single multi-leader that includes all of those blocks. On the output tab, We've got the new eTransmit command, which lets you package up your drawing file with its attachments, such as images or external reference files, and you can also add other files such as perhaps the survey database, any raw data files, whatever else is, is uh, appropriate. And the Express Tools tab. We've got a new collection of Express Tools, including converting blocks to external references, Exploding Attributes, this is the burst command some uh, other CAD users will be familiar with. Um, it explodes a block but leaves your attribute values as text. You can copy nested entities, so objects that are contained within a block or an external reference. You can auto number uh, pieces of text or multiline text. Explode text. This converts text into polylines that represent the same geometry as the uh, shape characters. Convert text to multiline text. We've got a quick leader command which works similar to a leader but with fewer prompts. Some other leader commands. Multiline styles manager. Let's jump back to the draw tab. IntelliCAD has had the multiline command for a while. but it's been hard to uh, change the settings of the multiline. The multiline styles previously could be set by editing a text file with the parameters, but we've now got the multiline style manager to do that. If I create a new style, maybe we'll cap the start of it with a line, we'll draw an, a curve on the outside edge, put uh, joint lines. Let's maybe offset it um, further to the to the left 
add another line on the center. Maybe on the center we'll make it red. Whatever, just some, uh, you know, you've got, you've got a lot of power there. If we set that current, go back and draw a new multi-line, you can see how that works. Go back to Express Tools, we've got a break line command. So this, we uh, get the old uh, break line symbol in the middle of the line. Some new selection tools to select objects that are similar to um, an object that you pick. So either matching the layer and object types. For example, this one, if I select a piece of text here, it's going to select all of the same object type on that layer. So in this case, all of the texts on my point number layer. Press escape to clear the selection. And although the Express Tools tab is new, these commands actually uh, are not new. They've just been moved from elsewhere. Okay, what else? So we've got performance improvements for screen redraws and for snapping while in files with underlays. We've got improved support for high resolution, such as 4K monitors. We've got a major Lisp upgrade with VL, VLA, and VLAX functions for better compatibility uh, with other CAD packages that use Visual Lisp. And I'm sure there's more that I'm missing, but as you can see, this all represents a major improvement from previous versions.